And today we're gonna play some Minecraft. In this video I'm going to be showing you guys how to build a block swapper. So without further ado, let's get into the video. Okay guys, finishing that beautiful intro, uh, today uh, I'm going to be showing you guys a block swapper, this design is actually for uh, 6 blocks uh, that it can swap, uh, I really quite like it, uh, I didn't want to just give you that 2 block block swapper which is like a really simple one, so I wanted to spice it up a little bit with a a uh, nice six block block swapper design here um, it's uh, quite simple it's like a uh, piston feed tape here inside you can see piston piston one here and one one here uh, with an extra piston here pushing it out so it's flush with the wall um, and yeah the rest is just timings and making it as compact as possible these are the items that you'll need of course you won't need our beautiful netherite hoe that we crafted there but uh, the items in the chest here are for the actual build and these are the ones that i'm going to be putting in the piston feed tape so guys we're going to start things off by placing three quartz blocks here rest and repeater set to four ticks here here we take our magenta wall and place one more here, like so. Take one of the redstone dust we have here, place it like so. Watch a person here. Take our redstone lamp, place it here. Take a shift crack on the repeater, place normal piston facing sideways, sticky piston facing upwards next to it on the magenta block and on top of the redstone lamp we take a sticky piston that should be extended this is the thing that's going to push the items out we take our cauldron place it here place a water bucket uh, inside mm. take your magenta wall place one here temporary block here go up like so and take an observer with the and make the dot face downwards here into a magenta block that we're gonna place here break the temporary block take a redstone repeater set it to three ticks if i'm not mistaken and uh, take your comparator place it here again take your wall place it here shift clicking on the repeater take your piston like so take an observer make it so the dot faces upwards Put, take, place another observer with the dot facing outwards of that observer magenta wall here sticky piston and are we done Hell no. now we take our button place it here take your swapper blocks place them here so one here one here three here in a cluster like so l shape and one here should look like this now if we press the button it doesn't work oh okay it's 
Oh, always, I always forget about this part. Take your observers, take a, a temporary block, place it here. Take one observer and make the dot face outwards here. And an observer facing the dot downwards. And now it should work. Yes. Perfect. Now you can take some decorative blocks, you can cover it up however you want. You have a setup like this. And of course guys, uh, if you want uh, one of the modes to be a mode where there is uh, the, the block of your wall, just replace one of the items with the block. I'm going to place it here. Now if we shuffle around a bit, it should come right like so. So guys, uh, I really do hope that you enjoyed this video, it was a ton of fun to make and I hope this block swapper will save a bit of space in your base for a uh, wasteful... Uh... Ah. So guys, I really do hope that you enjoyed this video, uh, it was a ton of fun to make and I hope that this block swapper will free up some space in your base for other more important stuff than and a loom cartographer table for a stone cutter. So guys, I will see you in the next one. Bye bye!